I'm tired. I think Nuno Betancourt is one of the most underrated guitar players out there. I've been listening to him since the first Extreme album, and I think that his technique and his feel is one of the best out there for rock guitar players. So his left-handed technique is by far one of the best I've seen out there. And I don't know if that equates to you know, being a piano player. I know Eddie uh, seems like all the guys that play piano and play guitar have just this connection between left and right hand. Nuno's percussive tone has always been like one of my favorite things. And I think it's a combination of obviously his tone um, and his right hand palm muting and just his overall uh, right and left hand techniques, you know. So with this one, it's utilizing a lot of open strings and it's real important that you keep this uh, mute, this palm muting down. So you're gonna do a hammer on here to uh, open third fret, fifth fret, E, G, and A. So really palm mute that string or all the strings to get that percussive sound. So here's the run. It's going to be uh, open third fret, fifth fret of the E string onto the A. You're going to do an open, open to a fourth fret, the C sharp to the D, the fifth fret. So we've got open. Then we're going to go to the D string, open, fifth fret, seventh fret. So we've got D, G, A, same as this. All right, so same basic run here, one. And I think you have to listen to it um, because I think he's doing... So he'll hit the G string, open G string, and then after this D part, he hits the open G and hammer-ons back to the D, to the 6th fret, to the 7th. So, so basically it's G, G sharp, A. So take, take each one of those sections and just to get the feel and the actual percussiveness of it, move your hand around until it sounds like what you hear on the album, you know? And, and I can't play it all the way through perfect. I just, my, my hand starts cramping up. So he's doing one. So that section is after this open to the sixth to the seventh, He's going to go to open to the sixth on the G string. So that's going to be what? C sharp to uh, another to the A on the D string, which is the seventh fret. So you're making an A chord. So that's just fun right there, you know? But if you do it all together, So the first section, you heard I went all one from here. And then this part, which is making that A chord, but then go back to that part before it and you're alternating. So it's really clever the way he um, gets these open strings and then the, the sharp after that. So the G to the G sharp on a different string. The second part goes something like this. So you got an open G string to the C sharp to the D. So G, C sharp, D. Open, sixth, seventh on the G string. The next part's really cool is an alternating open E, B string, and a hammer on that A chord, right? So you'll do that same beginning run. Same kind of thing where it has an open B to this next one, really rings out 
really cool. So that, that's just fun just doing that. Before I go to the last section that I really screwed up live, um, I don't know why, but that last section is, is tough for me. And then I'll show you the other part that I couldn't play all at once, you know. I didn't want to cheat and piece them together. But it's going to start on the uh, open again. Same kind of open strings, but you're going to come down to um, the 10th fret, which is your D. So D, E, D, E. Down to the open A, to an A flat, to an A. So open 11, 12. So open 10, 12, open 11, 12 on the A string. And then open <clears throat> on the D, open. And I'll play it slow. The only thing different, this one here, he's going to walk up, you know, open 10, 12, open 11, 12, open 12, 14, open 13, or yeah, 13, 14, open 15, 17, and then this one's the, the little different. I said those because I can sit there and go through the notes, but you guys, it's kind of like I'm just speaking tab to you. But when I keep saying open, we're talking E, A, D, G, B, all right? The last part is going to pick to open E to a G sharp, which is the 16th fret on the E string. And then you're going to hammer down, you're going to hammer that G sharp and then hammer back down over here to an E. Right? So you got open, 16th, G sharp, hammer to an E on the B string, which is your 17th fret. Same as the down here, right? Not same notes, but same, you know, uh, technique. Uh, and that one's really fast, right? So I, it just gets really messed up and messy for me. This last run is similar to the first, and the, but he takes it up to this uh, really cool open E uh, part. So... So he'll do a chromatic run at the end, which is neat, but I'll show you that. It's the beginning part. That's gonna be open. You're gonna just keep picking the open E string and hammer onto the string below, the B string. So to a, uh, an eighth fret, to the 10th fret. Remember that right hand. And then to an open E again, eight on the B string and do the, the octave B, which is the 12. I can't get my pinky in there and mute, it just doesn't work right. Well, kind of. Ugh, okay. And then down to an open string, third, uh, fourth fret of the B string, seventh fret of the B string. So you got this. Really cool things to incorporate into your leads, you know? And then that chromatic run starts on the B. We got eight, seven, six, five, and then eight, seven, six, five on the G, and then nine, eight, seven, six, and then uh, 10, nine, eight, seven, going down on the A. So that is a little Saturday nugget for you that you can practice this weekend. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and have a good weekend.